I'm from the social sciences, and I was drawn into the study of celebrities from the work that I've done in the past on the role of famous people in selling international development causes. Some work that I've done, which we call brand aid, which is how you buy certain products to support humanitarian causes, primarily in the global south. When celebrities become involved in North-South relations, money is pledged, individual and institutional networks are mobilized, and attention is drawn toward particular causes, like Ebola, which previously no one had ever heard of, but deflected away from other causes. I started with the disclaimer that I come from the social sciences, and I do study celebrities because I think it's important to understand them instrumentally to understand something more about society and about politics and power. So our book aims for a better understanding about the relationships of politics, place, and power in grounded studies of celebrity humanitarianism. The first thing is to look at what impact do celebrities have in the global south. And we put the south first. It is a political choice that we made on purpose because we think it is very important when we're talking about north-south relations to invert that power hierarchy and to say, look, we're putting the south up, for, up front because we think it's important. And second, what does celebrity engagement mean in the donor north? And this is, of course, where we reflect back and talk about what does it mean as donors and in donor communities. We investigate the importance of place and context as each chapter actually represents new empirical findings on the ground from Thailand, Malawi, Bangladesh, South Africa, China, Haiti, Congo, the US, Denmark, and Australia. Celebrity interventions provide an empirical focus for studying the relations of power that might be reproduced or disputed from one context to another. Most of us will never actually get to interview our celebrities. Mm -hmm. And so the closest that we get to understanding how they work is by coming in through the institutions with whom they actually collaborate. And this has been something I think has been a really eye-opener for us in terms of learning how the power works. To understand the relationships and the linkages, the misconnections and the transnational flows, we need far more attention to the actual practices of elite leadership in comparative contexts. Thus, our book's conclusions, but not its premises, are critical. Nine substantive chapters illustrate the social structuring of celebrity through institutional forms of life. In other words, the staging of inequality. <laughs>